How to create abandoned cart email flows in Clavio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up and create the abandoned cart email flow within Clavio. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to Clavio.com. Simply you are going to sign in for an account. I have signed in in my account within Clavio and this is the dashboard. You can see we have a left side bar menu. You click on the account right here. As you can see, this is my account. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, accounts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now click on integrations and simply you are going to add the integration that is uh, very suitable to you. In my case, I have searched for Shopify and this is the store that I have. Shopify, simply you are going to enable it, click on it and connect your account and here is my store URL. Here we have the on-site tracking, everything is embed and activated. Now, when you finish this step, you are going to this next step, which is going to the analytics right there. You are going to see here a drop down menu, click on metrics. If you don't see this metrics, which is named checkout started, you are simply going to create a custom metric. But in my case, it has been already updated and enabled. Now, when you see here, the metrics is good. You are simply going to the flows, click on flows. And now we are going to create a flow, create flow right here from this button. And now we have the options that we are going to say. You have either the choice of the preset uh, templates, for example, here the browse abandonment, as you can see, or you can go ahead and prevent lost sales, turn browser and abandoned carts into purchases with these high converting flows. You are going to select that and simply you are going to see the uh, abandoned, abandoned cart reminder, for example, or here we have the standard we have the localized, we have the browse abandonment and etc. In my case, I am going to build my own. Click on build your own and here I'm going to name it. Let's go and name it, for example, cart or lost cart like that. And for the tags, I'm simply going to check the emails because I didn't set up the SMS yet. Click on create flow and now we are on the flow editor. As you can see, we have the trigger. When this action or this trigger will be active. Simply, you are going to click on the trigger. Right there, I'm going to click on the most popular here, actions. You can go ahead and see all the triggers right here. And you are going to browse them from one to one. Here I have the matrix, as you can see. When you click on Shopify, we have the matrix that we have set and it is named checkout started. Click on it and here we have the trigger. Let's set up here a profile filter. I'm simply going to click on add and here we are going to add a profile filter. Click on it and the condition is the first one. What someone has done or not done. Click on it and here the matrix or you are going to select the checkout started and here I'm simply going to put zero times and here the third one is since starting this flow. Now this is the first filter. Now I'm going to add another filter, click on and here we are going to select a condition. What someone has done or has not, click on it. The matrix here I am going to search right there for ordered product for example or let's go ahead and add something placed order I'm going to select that here I'm going to put for example zero times and in the last right there I'm going to put since starting this flow this is the second condition or the filter I'm going to add a third filter and we are going simply to put right there what someone has done also and we are going to select a metric, which is right here, has not been in this flow. At any time, I am going to put here in the last 30 days, and this is it. 
this is the part that we are going to put right there. Click on save. Simply, I am going to close this. And now we are going to put the update action status or we are going to add a time delay right here. Simply on that time delay, you are going to set up the uh, time to 45 minutes. Click on save. And this is the first one. Now the first action, we are going to add an email. And this one, I'm going to set up the email later. I'm going to add another right here, a time delay like that. Put it right here. Put it right there to two days for this time. Click on save. And the last and not least, the time delay. Put it right here. I'm going to put for uh, here. I have uh, forgot that this one. I don't need th this one. I will put it for later. Here we have the wait two days option. I'm going to add an email. This is the email number two. Add another time delay. And this one is two days also. And our add our third and last email. Right here add it. And as you can see here now. I have to disable the start sending right here, the email. I am going to uh, make it disappear or uh, disable it because we don't need that. Simply we are going to put it as a normal because the smart sending will go ahead and put some uh, difficulties or some problems with the emails. And now we are going to set the emails. Here you have to set each uh, email individually. Now. For this case, simply we are going to put right there a email setup. Let's go with this one. Click on draft or click on it. And here we have the uh, email number one. You can set a preview text. Here we have the templates. You're going to select a template. You're going to create a blank template or you can go ahead and use any of these emails that are available. I am going to search here if I have something right here. Let's say that I'm going to pull cart and see what it will do. Nothing. So we are going to create our blank email. Now, simply we are going to create from scratch. Let's say here, I'm going to let only the footer. This is the section that I don't need. Let's go ahead and add this one. You are going to add a footer or no. Here we have the section column. We have the universal. It is okay. Now for the logo, we can go ahead and put a header and you are going simply to add a banner or a image and this image, you are going to set something uh, like or illustrate something from Canva or from Photoshop saying, did you forget something? Or you can go ahead and put a text in uh, the place of that image, for example, and that text will be, let's say that we are going to put, did you? You, for example, for, forgot something. Here we have it. I'm going to put the F as a capital right here. F. Here we have it. I'm going to put this text. For example, I can go ahead and add some uh, display right here. I'm going to add some borders to that text. Or you can go ahead and add a background to it. Now, also, you can go ahead and put some modification to that text. You can go ahead and add some padding to it and also make it to the middle if you want. Like that, you are going to put it right there in the middle. And we are simply going to see the modification right there. Here we have it. You can add some, uh, and let's say that we are going to add here a table. And that table, you are going to add a picture of that product that they have uh, sent. You can go ahead and make some coatings right there. There is uh, some coatings that you are going to see on Google. But in this case, I am going to select only a product or I'm going to mention only one product. And I'm going simply to put uh, the uh, here, the as you can see, I'm going to put it dynamic. You can go ahead and put the row collection from your store and all, also the row alias. And you are going to put it right here. I'm going to put the image first and then the text description and everything. You can modify these and make whatever you want from the editor right here. 
on the display, you can go ahead and see whatever parameters that you have. But in my case, I'm going to add a product. Also, you can add a product like that. And now if you want to add a product, I am going to create a feed if needed. And also you can go ahead and click on done like that. Add some social links. This is just for the uh, trust. You can add some social links and also you can add a testimonial. You can add a, for example, a image showing a, some testimonials. You are going to create that image shown for example that you have a fast shipping and you have free returns this is just an example and also you have a five star rating over a website for example on google business or something like that you have to input this image right here don't forget to put the background of that image white as the email and here we have it this is uh, for the first email here on the text you are simply going to uh, put the text here you have or for example, it looks like that, like you have forgot, forgot this item in your cart. Like that in your cart, simply. And you are going to cite the item. You can go ahead and put the description of that item and also you can go ahead and put that price now the call to action right here is to go ahead and add a button now to add a button it is very easy you can go ahead and add a text and be beneath that text you can go ahead and add for example let's say that uh, we need a, a hypertext or hyperlink you can go ahead and add it instead of that product or simply get this click or button right there and add it right here here we have the shop now and the link address you are going to shopify then you are going to add that product manually on shopify for example let's go ahead and add a product manually on our shopify store let's say that this customer has uh, forgot a from the catalogs from here let's say that we have they have forgot something I'm going to let this one add it to the cart. Now I'm going to add it right here. Now I'm going to delete that item, click on checkout, simply get them to the checkout page. Go right here and put the link of that. Shop now, I'm in, and instead of shop now, I'm going to put here, uh, continue, continue or continue like that your buying like that your buying and we have it and this is it this is the product you can go ahead and put it right there and here we have it you can go ahead and save and exit and this is for the first email the second email I'm going to click on done right here we are going to get it to the uh, second right here email you can go ahead and put up a second email containing some uh, as you can say uh, testimonials and also we are going to put some uh, demanding reviews from your customers and etc this is after two days and after the two days that we have made if the customer have uh, bought the product back or not we're going to set up the third message or the third email containing a promo code for example if the customer didn't uh, bought this or didn't buy this product it will showcase or you are going to create a promo code for that customer to make it or incite them to buy that product so they will be maybe more interested depending on that product and also the email that you have set if it is attracting and also the uh, promotion or the uh, discount that you have made is interesting such as including a free shipping and also some 15 or 20 percent off this will be a big deal for them that was very simple and that was for all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one